Hello guys, Chris Kojak here. Over the summer in which I moved, I did some damage. I roughly showed off some figures in my recent collection, little short video I did, but I wanted to show them off in detail on my new turntable. Ooh, look, I'm fancy now. And I wanted to show off a figure that I recently picked up from MFC, so we are going to start with her. And her being Mia Shita I from Love Live Nijigasa! Sorry, this third season, Love Live, she is my queen, she is happy ganky, she makes puns. She is also more proof that I'm into blonde girls. So I'll give you a quick spin of eye, she is the pop-up parade version. I really love her, I got her off of someone from MFC, I got her for $30. Here's a look at her cute face. The details of her outfit. Here is the back with the coat part going longer. Here's her hair and her head. Just look at how happy she is. She's so happy ginky, I can't stand it. Now, the person I bought her from did warn me that they that the base did get scratched, but when you look at her from normal viewing distance, you're not gonna see that. So, one of the things, and I happen to share two of these figures with a fellow YouTuber, and one that I never thought I would get would be the Pink Flamingo Cheerleader from Daikikyo, which she is also crossing off. She's a cast-off, so she's my first cast-off in my collection. I... Love the designer of On Me, and I've wanted an On Me figure, and she was just so cute. Here's a spin around. Mine did come with the stain on her booty, but I have to fix that. And I will use my creative powers to prevent that from happening. I currently keep mine with the top on. I do have the extra cast off parts, but I just prefer her to be like this. Looking so cute. So adorable. And all of these figures actually hang out on the same shelf. Now this one caused a little bit of a, con not controversy, but a little bit of why do you like this particular hair color on this figure? It's because it's blonde keys and eye. <laughs> I, there is the brown colored version of keys and eye with her brown colored hair. But I just love the blonde hair Keys and Eye better. So here is a spin around of Miss Keys and Eye. She is going on a special detail shelf that I'm creating called the Streetwear Shelf. And I know streetwear has been a big fashion trend. So I'll stop her here, give you a close up look of her face and her hair with all the streaks of color in it. Here's the bow, the top with the outfit. I didn't know it came with this fun little pattern. I got the shorts with the buttons, and the zippers on the side. Here are her hands with her pink painted fingernails. Going down, she's got really nice legs to her boots and the base. And her one boot does have a stocking running up her foot. This is considered to be the Hello World Kizna Eye with the blonde version. And her one sleeve says, Hi Domo. And her other sleeve, which I have to grab her, says Kizna Eye. Very cute. Very cute. I love her. So to go with her and my streetwear collection, I bought the Stella. Now, I got Stella for a really good deal off of the auctions, and I thought her outfit, her vibe would go really well with my idea for my streetwear collection. I received her, and she blew me out of the water. So here's her face, her little horns. I love her hair, her outfit going down her body. Her shoes are really chunky. And I kind of like them. 
They also remind me way too much and going on the vibes of Kingdom Hearts shoes. Being that I am a fan, here you can kind of see the stars inside of her jacket and the galaxy. Here we have the jacket itself. We have her red tail with the drips, the back of her hair and the nape of her neck. Here she does have a booty. Does she have the booty in my collection? I don't know. I have some pretty good contenders. But that is Stella. And finally, a figure that I didn't know I was going to buy. She's a one-fourth scale. And I literally screamed when I opened her box. I bought the Eureka Bunny. I still look at her and I freak out every day that I have the Eureka Bunny. So if you have not seen, here is a quick spin around of the Eureka Bunny. The thing that drew me to the Eureka Bunny was not only that she's gorgeous, it's the fact that I can take off her ears and she still looks cute. Because the ears go behind the bow. So we got a close up of her face. I really liked her face. Here is her bunny suit with the ties on the side. I like too that she has quarter, three quarters fishnets. So she is, you know, she's bare from the hip to mid thigh. We have her gloved hands which also have the lace-ups that match the sides of the bunny suit. We have the big floofy tail and the booty. We have her cute little shoes with the bows on the back. I very much prefer these round tip shoes versus the more pointy tip shoes. Here is a close-up of her garter belts and her knees. Here is the armpit and the poofy shoulders, her ties and her and her from above. She's got nice cleavage, looks to be welded together. You can see that her hair is a nice shade of blonde. There is her other hand pushing through her hair. We have the bunny ears and the bow. And again, you can take out the bunny ears. And she doesn't look awkward that she does not have them, which is a big draw in for me on this bunny. And so far she has been my only bunny representative. But I do get bunny fever sometimes and fix sure, try to find out who is going to go best with my current reigning bunny queen. So let's see if I can fit them all on one turntable. So we have Eureka. We have Kizuna Ai. We have Stella. We have Mia Shita Ai. And, whoop, and her body came apart. And we have Pink Flamingo. All on one turntable. So I'll give you a quick spin around of all of these ladies on one turntable. Just looking nice. They all exist on one shelf. I think they look pretty good. And I don't regret any of these purchases. So to wrap up, this is a short video of the summer things I purchased whilst I was moving. I want to give close-ups again. All the queens deserve it. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.